what's good y'all your boy ross back at it again with another video so wwe releases 10 superstars man the real reason why man more individuals were just released today you knew it was coming people were you know speculating a few weeks back that uh there were going to be some more releases from wwe so we're about to check out who they are and potentially why they were released but uh it's it's another unfortunate situation i'm wondering if it'll be due to uh budget cuts you know maybe maybe that's what it is maybe uh they didn't have enough enough i guess financial funding for these these wrestlers who knows what could be the possible reason but uh we're gonna check it out man it's un very unfortunate but uh let's see who and why they were released it is wrestlemania here back with another news video and sadly it's the day all wrestling fans dread the day wwe makes mass cuts to their own roster yep. and today there have been a total of 10 releases Damn, and man. all of them come from the nxt brand oh no there are actually some surprising names that have been given the chop by wwe and these include a former title holder well, which ones are they well join us now as wrestlemania looks at 10 and we just watched a video on how uh, uh ember moon was having so much trouble in nxt and and why she ended up leaving so yeah let's see what's going on here, wwe man. releases today and examine the real reason why wwe has decided to fire them all be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on facebook for exclusive lists this sucks man it's kind of rough i don't want to i hate this for anybody honestly now, just before the releases even took place, Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful.com tweeted, NXT releases are coming. And the first name that was announced to have been released was Malcolm Bivens. Now, Bivens Who's has that? been in a managerial role in the Diamond Mine for some time now, and his release comes as quite don't a know. huge surprise. I may not know it's some of these names because I don't really watch NXT like that anymore. So some of these names I'm going to be kind of foreign on. Uh, maybe not if, you know, Maybe all of them I may be foreign on because once again, I don't watch NXT. So we'll see if I recognize some of the individuals that are uh, reportedly being let go. Prize, Bivens was extremely popular with fans and he appeared mm. to have a close connection with the other superstars in the locker room. Sean Rossap offered some insight into why Bivens had been released. He tweeted, Fightful has learned that Malcolm Bivens has been released by WWE. The company had asked him to re-sign in February, and he made it clear that he didn't want to do so. Oh, so at wow. least we can't even blame WWE on this side, as it looks like the decision was mainly down to Bivens wanting to part ways with the company. Oh, okay, According well. to Fightful Select, Bivens only re-signed his last WWE contract when he was promised television time. This was when WWE created the Diamond Mine, but this has done very little to satisfy him, and he's made it abundantly clear that he would not be convinced into re-signing this time around. Oh, damn. Now, it was said that the team behind WWE's digital content were in favor of giving Bivens more television time. He has a humorous yet engaging social media presence, but this side of Bivens doesn't truly come across on television. Now, it's understandable why Bivens has been frustrated, as he has so much to offer, but his television time is kept extremely limited. And then again, half of the talent behind the scenes would always love some more television time. True. But Bivens has a bright future ahead of him, and someone of his stature would be a great fit in AEW or even Impact Wrestling. Now, to be honest, without a doubt, the wow. most shocking name to be released today was da Dakota Kai. Oh, man. Wow, that's wild. Dakota Kai. Damn. Dakota was one of the top female stars in NXT and fans had assumed that she was destined for the main roster. Yeah. She even took part in a number of main roster dark matches where she actually managed to defeat Aaliyah and Cora Jade, but she also got defeated by the likes of Exia Lee and Amari Miller. With those losses, it was clear that they did very little to impress WWE higher-ups. Dakota had an extremely successful run in NXT as she was one half of the inaugural NXT Women's Tag Team mm -hmm. Champions alongside Raquel Gonzalez, who's actually now made it to the main roster and was consistently featured on television in meaningful storylines. Yeah. Her departure is going to hit NXT hard and fans of Dakota have taken to social media to question Damn, WWE's decision making and ask what the hell WWE were thinking of releasing one Damn. of the most promising stars. Shayna Baszler took to Twitter and said, Dakota Kai is far and away one of the best wrestlers I've ever been in the ring with and the gap is large. Now watch it grow. 
Beth Phoenix even commented on Twitter saying, Dakota Kai is a leader and an outstanding talent. Damn. One of my favorite women wrestlers and a lovely human being. Shazza McKenzie even tweeted, imagine not having anything for Dakota Kai. Baffling. Yeah, it is yeah. baffling. Now, according to an exclusive report by Fightful Select, Dakota was said to have seen the release coming and she had no plans to renew her um. WWE contract once it expired. This is an interesting revelation from Fightful, as it's clear that Dakota saw the writing on the wall and was clearly dissatisfied with how she was being booked on NXT. Hmm. Interestingly, she won the NXT women's title with Raquel once again just a few weeks ago, so it appears as if WWE were trying to appease her, but this had little to no effect. Yeah. Was Dakota's aim to be called up to the main roster? After all, that is where the big money is and she couldn't stay in NXT forever. Yeah. Now, more details will likely come out in relation to her situation situation and what actually led to her having no plans to re-sign a new WWE contract. Now there will naturally be a ton of interest from various companies in oh, signing sure. Dakota as fans have already began to suggest on social media that Tony Khan signs Dakota to a deal and this would be a smart move on behalf of the AEW president. Dakota would be a great fit in the AEW women's mm -hmm. division and someone with her skill set could really elevate the division to new heights. Yeah definitely I could see her in AEW. They could definitely use some more more women in the division as well now it's important to note that all the released talent from today have a 30-day non-compete clause yeah. so in theory dakota could be on aew programming by the end of may damn bro that's really it's crazy only because it's like she had some prominent feuds in nxt quite enjoyable ones i like when she turned Went rogue on Tegan Knox. I enjoyed that. That was cool. And then I like when she went rogue on uh, Raquel Gonzalez too. Like she's just known for going rogue on teammates. It was great. They had some good matches, good feuds. Man, I, I don't know, bro. She's had some pretty good matches. I'm oh man, that is wild. I, I'm she seen writing on the wall. It seems like people just not. They know they're not really gonna get the television time. They're not getting called up to the main roster. Nothing's really happening for them on NXT, so they're not re-signing their contracts. And they kind of know what's going to happen at, at some point. Wow, that's crazy. And now this Another one, big name was Dexter, Dexter Lewis, Loomis. And I hadn't really been watching them much, but you guys have been telling me, oh, y'all love y'all some Dexter Loomis. Y'all been saying this a lot. I've been seeing... Well, I wouldn't say a lot. I've seen some people say they like Dexter Loomis. Uh, I, I, I want to rephrase that. I want to say some people... Y'all been saying y'all y'all like Dexter Loomis, like his per persona and all this other stuff. But it's still surprising because he is at least someone that I know who he is from, you know, just outside, you know, on the NXT brand. So uh, Loomis' storyline with Indy Hartwell on NXT was definitely well received and did huge numbers for WWE on social media and YouTube. It appears as if Loomis was in the shuffle after the storyline began to fizzle out, fans quickly lost interest in him. Damn. That's kind of a pity that WWE didn't go back to the drawing board with him and come up with a new and exciting storyline for him. It seems like such a shame to release someone who did exceptionally well with such an unorthodox romantic storyline with Indy Hartwell and just suddenly release him. Now before Damn. he stepped foot in NXT, he had an infamous run in TNA as Samuel Shaw, so it's certainly possible that Loomis will find his way back to his former promotion. Another big name includes the likes of Harland. Harland was featured on NXT television is. alongside Joe Gacy, but clearly WWE didn't see, didn't see too much equity in keeping him on the roster. Now at one stage, Harlem was compared to a young Brock Lesnar due to their similarities in appearance. Yeah, but once it. the WWE decided to have Harlem shave his head, these comparisons quickly went away. Yeah. Still, his booking was strong, much like Lesnar back in the day. But the report from Fightful Select added that WWE officials were unimpressed with how little Harlem had progressed in the ring and therefore decided to release Damn. him from his contract. A number of other talents have been released today that never even made their television debuts. Wow. These include Paige Principali, Vish Kanya, Draco Anthony, Raylan Devine, Sanjana George, and Mila Milani. The final name released today though was Persia Perota, who signed with WWE just last year and notably had a small storyline with Indy Hartwell on NXT TV. Now according to Fightful Select, either. all of these releases mainly come down to budget cuts. <laughs> never uh, it's always the budget cuts. Infamous budget cuts. <laughs> Plus, the report adds that most of the released stars seem in good spirits. 
Fightful Select also reports that they've spoken to an NXT official who has cited frustration coming from their releases. It is said that the staff at NXT received no prior notice of the releases happening, and consequently this has created problems in the creative department. A number of release stars were penciled in for current and future storylines and this has now meant that the NXT creative team have to amend any plans they had to include the release stars on television. Seriously, the guy who's probably creating the roster for WWE 2K23 yeah. is probably pulling his hair out right now. Yeah. The WWE has a habit of making mass budget cuts around this time of the year, normally just after WrestleMania, mm -hmm. as they did so with WrestleMania 36 and 37. Just last year, WWE released notable stars such as Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman, and this was, clear, this was a clear sign to fans and fellow WWE stars that nobody is safe from getting released. Our releases are always bad for the locker room morale, especially when WWE is releasing talents such as Dakota Kai and Malcolm Bivens. WWE released more superstars than ever in 2021, and there were numerous reports that the locker room morale dipped whenever a new batch of releases hit. And the morale of the locker room impacts everything, from how True. WWE superstars perform in the ring, to how they promote the product in interviews with media outlets. WWE have to be extremely careful in executing budget cuts around this time of year, as a miserable talent roster could be insanely damaging to their own product. Now, there is no news on whether WWE plans to make any cuts to talent on the main roster, but if they do, we will certainly keep you posted. We at WrestleMania wish all the best to the release WWE For superstars. Sure. Which one are you most shocked about? That is... That's wild, bro. I, I just want y'all to understand. It's, it's very unfortunate. Anybody that ends up losing their, their job, especially something that they love, uh, is, is, is really unfortunate, bro. And uh, I'm going to, you know... I feel for the individuals and hopefully they're able to find some work uh, in another company and uh, they're able to get utilized, you know, the way that they want to be utilized, you know, utilized correctly, actually seen and, and be appreciated for for their craft and their work, you know, and I can only hope for that. You feel me? It's just it's very unfortunate. The most surprising one is Dakota Kai because I would think at some point they would have brought her up to the main roster. I'm like, I think she could do. Fairly well. I mean, they need more women on the main roster, but I guess they weren't impressed or happy with what they saw when she did a couple of dark matches on her main roster. But still, man, I don't know. I just, that's somebody I think they could have used. They definitely could have used on the main roster for sure, man. I don't know. I think that's, I think that was a mistake on their part. I could be wrong. But uh, comment down below. Let me know. Did any of these releases actually surprise you? The most for me, Definitely Dakota Kai, because I, I would have at least thought at some point they would bring her to the main roster. She could definitely do some, definitely do some good things there. But I guess WWE thought otherwise. But appreciate all love and support. Rotate 8K, appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.